Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today we're going to do an art journal page. It's going to be kind of an, a beginner's page. Uh, I'm going to do a mermaid. Uh, I love doing mermaids. Um, but yeah, so I just have my art journal open. This is just pages that I had, uh, you know, taken my brushes with extra paint and whatnot and wiped it off. Some brush -o, I think, was over here. I'm just going to take some aqua. And I'm going to paint... I'm just going to paint all this to be the kind of the water and I'm going to add in some of my Mod Podge sheer aqua as well. And this is what this looks like. And it's to be used on glass. I like to use this kind of stuff for everything. So I'm just putting a little bit in here and it's just going to make it a little transparent. I hope um, we will see. <laughs> One never knows until you start doing it. I'm going to dry my brush off good. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of mix it. And I'm going to paint the whole page. I'm not worrying about what's underneath uh, and if it shows or not because, um, you know, it's going to be kind of the ocean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something. And if you need to make your paint go a little further without putting more out, just to add a little water to your brush. You can already see some of the sheer right here. Let me move this. Oh, I rhymed. I do it like that. And you can add as much as you want. I'm just going to mix it in and just do my thing. Now, I've talked about this sheer uh, paint before and it's used for glass and um, I'm going to try it on some plastic. And you'll see that video coming up soon. But now I'm just going to dip my brush the littlest bit in the water. And you can see whatever I used underneath is coming through. And that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to get the page. Now you can see this is a little bit more, I don't know, more turquoisey, I guess, than the water that I actually might want. So I'm going to take some of the sheer uh, in sheer blue and just add, because I really like the way this the brush -o is coming through or whatever the, I can't remember. Is that what it's called? Brush -o? I think so. And this is sheer as well. So I'm just going to kind of give it a squirt on both sides. See if I can mix it in, if it's going to do anything for me, make it a little deeper. Just going to kind of go around and around, not worrying too much if it blends in or not, if that makes sense. Just going to put it all over the page just a little bit. I just want it a little darker like more of the colors going to that and then just the same thing over here. Let's see if it gives it a nice tinge or not. I might not do a dang thing, but I'm not going to know unless I do it. Um, oh, here's what I wanted to say. I was trying to thought. Um, a couple of you had asked me about the sheer, I'm going to let that dry while I talk the sheer, um, from the Mod Podge, right? For the glass and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know what, if you don't have it, um, Use your white school glue and then use your paint in with that and you will get, I have videos on that as well, you'll get a beautiful sheer color. Now I'm going to have videos coming up this week with me doing, uh, me using white school glue for everything. Uh, I've been requested to, to do that since I always say use your white school glue um, because now's the time to go out to your local, you know, Staples, Office Max, Walmart, wherever, um, and school supplies are out. So of course the white school glue is out and that kind of thing, Mod Podge, all that kind of stuff. And Mod Podge could be used just as beautifully on this as well. So, you know, there's that. But I like how it just kind of mixed in a little bit. Now I'm going to see what the heat gun will do to this. Um, I'm going to hold it far away and just kind of give it some heat all over and just keep moving it. You know, you can use your hair dryer as always if you don't have a heat gun. And if you don't have either, then just let it sit. It'll dry in five minutes, if not more, and then you're ready to go on. I always say pick a video on YouTube. I have many, many videos. And, um... You know, go watch a video, and then by that time you come back, it'll be dry. So never feel like you can't do something because you don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer. A heat gun is basically used for embossing more than drying. And it's wonderful, and I love it. 
but you definitely can use a hair dryer or nothing. In your local thrift stores, at least mine here in New Jersey, they have the hair dryers for a buck or two. So check out your Goodwill and your, you know, all that fun stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty cool. And I dried so fast. So, I mean, it won't take nothing to dry. Can you see the shine it gives it? Look at that. It almost looks like it's wet, but it's not. And I just love the shine. I love how it just gives you, and I love how this is coming through. Now, you won't have this coming through, obviously, right? Um, this is if you maybe you are going over a page or you use dilution sprays. Um, <clears throat> those are not permanent. So sometimes if you paint over them, use them in your mixed media, they bleed through. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this everywhere. I love it in my mixed media. But, you know, you won't have this. You'll just have the blue. You can definitely put some yellow underneath there and um that kind of thing if you want you know so just try uh try things so my nails i had to put another set on um the next set i do i will wait and and do it on video because i saw that you guys uh wanted me to do them but i just picked these up and i have them these i put the sparkle down these i put the sparkle up they're all which i it, that's because i'm goofy and i'm like that but i love these nails and i didn't have to paint them they're already done and i love them and they were like seven bucks and they're by kiss and i just love them and they'll last me the week probably till sunday uh they'll be messy by the time the week ends because they're already getting messy with paint and all because that's just what i do but i'm okay with that um, I'm having a really hard time with my nails. They are peeling and breaking like nobody's business. Um, and they're just hurting so bad when I don't have the uh, stuff on, um, nails on. So, you know, no big deal. But yes, I will be doing them. And let me know down below. You want me to do a giveaway? Do you want me to do a giveaway of a set of these nails for somebody? I mean, I don't know. I gladly would. Let me know down below. I'd be glad to do that. Um, I know a lot of you ask about, you know, what I'm using and all that kind of thing. And, you know, I don't have patience to go to a salon and have them put on uh, tips for me and acrylic and all that kind of stuff. I just don't have it in me. Plus, I don't like anybody touching me. Um, so these work perfect for me, especially the ones. Now, I like to paint my own as well. So I have another set that are clear. Uh, which I'll paint my own, but these, like, I just had to put them on and I was done and I, and I love them and you can file them down. You can do whatever you want. And if I want to paint them, let's say in like three days, I'm like, I'm over it. I can paint them myself. I can just paint over them because it's smooth. So there's that. And I love them and I'm happy with them. Well, let's move on. Okay. So now I want to kind of do a mermaid kind of thing. Now I'm kind of limited on space and this is not going to be, you're not going to look at it and be like, oh, she's in the ocean. This is my stream of consciousness. Whatever your stream of consciousness is, go for it. You see how easy. If you don't want to do any of the sheer with the Mod Podge sheer or the white school glue or Mod Podge or what have you, and you just want to paint it blue, go for it. Nobody's stopping you. Just do the blue. No big deal. Okay. So let me draw... Let me find my pencil, my little pencil. Okay. And I'm going to draw, maybe I'll draw with, maybe I'll draw with this. Excuse me if, if you see anything on there. Okay. So I'm going to use my white. This is a Stabilo, uh, a uh, Stabilo all in white. Um, I love these. I have tons of them. Why I love using the white is because now I can draw on here and as I paint, it'll just melt away or I could just wipe it off with water. Um, so I want to start, I want to make it kind of go here. I've seen, who was it? Nikki Parr. Oh, I can't remember the other person who has been doing mermaids and I just love them and I get so jealous because I'm going to do them too. So I'm going to do a, a very easy, I tried to figure out a very easy art journal page that you can do uh, with a figure on it without having to worry about a face. So. And I've done many of these and I love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see when I draw. I'll try to do my best, but I'm going to do like the top of her head like this. And then maybe give her some hair. Now this is all going to be hair in here, right? All white. And I'll paint it, but for me, I just kind of want to see how it's going to be. And you see, I'm just making her hair. 
her hair all the way down here. Whatever kind of hairstyle you want. By all means, do it. You see, that's it. And we can fuss with that after and add more or less or take away. It doesn't matter. That's her. She's looking off, right? Best way to do this because you don't have to worry about face. Because a lot of you, I know, you're nervous about the faces. You guys write me. I know. I get it. So this is going to hopefully help you. So now we know her hair is coming down and it's going to be over her back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of start with the mermaid, uh, her tail. And I know I want it to swoop this way. So I'm going to kind of start here and do like a top of a heart. So it's kind of like, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take it down and kind of go like this. Cause I'm going, this is going to be thinner because like I said, I'm going to be taking this all the way up. Got some wax on here. What did I do? Try to get this off. Let's see, maybe that will work. So I want her to go. Yeah. I want it to come. I might even want it. See, so look, now what I'm gonna do is I'll like, oh, I made a mistake. It's all right. I'm gonna wet my brush. And then look. Right? And then take my paper towel. Now you can do this with regular chalk. If you sew and you have sewers, you know, the seamstress chalk and all that, you can do that as well. Um, I might not want this as big, as hoopy. Let's see. Just like a chalkboard. I'm going to kind of go up here. And then hmm, give her her tail. Give her her tail, come down, and then you're going to kind of go with the flow here, right? And then we'll bring this here. So this is like this. Kind of going to do that, but do I want this like this or do I want this flat? No, I'm okay with that. I might extend this. This is what happens. I can't help it. She's going out a little bit. So I'm just going to race this off and make this a little bigger. Very simple. Just run some water over it. No big deal. And this is your mermaid or your fairy or whatever you want it to be. So make it whatever way you want it. It's okay. I want like this to come up. I want this to be smaller as the tail. But then I want this to be... Let's give her my butt. Let's give her a big butt. <laughs> she doesn't have to be that big. I'm just saying. And we can add that in. And then make this a little bigger as it goes up. All right. I'm okay with that. I'll probably shorten the butt, but why not give her my butt? All right. And then when it comes up to this, so this is going to be her bottom part. This is just going to be her waist because we're not seeing much. So I'm going to make this her waist. Make her have a big butt and a little waist, which is when I was thin. I always had the bigger butt and no waist. Believe it or not, I used to have no waist. Now I have it all. All right. Two kids later and some Big Macs and ice cream, and that's what you get. All right. There we go. So I'm happy with that. So you see, that's all we have to do. You don't have to do anything. You want to put little you know, a little tattoo on there, whatever you want to give her some arms. You can give her like a, cause like I said, the hair's covering everything. So this is basic, but you can give her a, um, let's pretend like, I don't know. We're not going to see much of her arm. So remember that, but you can kind of give her an arm there if you want. Maybe you feel like doing that or making it come down on there. It doesn't matter. Her arm, you can do another arm over here. If you want, doesn't matter. That's up to you. The way you want to do it, I'll probably just erase that off and just keep it as the mermaid. Why not? So now, and this is just a Stabilo all. And you know what? Um, maybe I'll do a, I have a few of these. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. If you're interested in any of this as well, let me know down below for a giveaway. 
because I would be glad to do it. Now I want to do these, I want to do this white and blue or white and green rather, um, with different colors. So I want to grab, I want metallic green. Do I have a metallic green? I don't know. No, you are minted aqua. That might be nice though. I'll probably have to go over and get my green over there. Um, see it? You might be it. You are aquamarine. We're in business. Minted aqua, aquamarine, aqua on here. Ooh, there's a theme. Can you tell what the theme is? Aqua. All right. So I'm going to take some aquamarine first, or not aquamarine, minted aqua. Excuse me. And I'm going to keep it green. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to squirt it in. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty. And then I'm just squirt a little bit here as a base. That's going to be nice because we can go over that with um, our colors. Oh, very cute. And you just go down and follow. And that way, you, if you want it bigger, it doesn't matter. We're just doing, and I like the texture. You see how I'm keeping that texture in there? That's why I'm using a bigger, a bigger brush. I'm not going to go over and make it very uh, smooth because I don't necessarily want it smooth. You know what I'm saying? And what we'll do is I'm going to go over this and I'm using the side of my brush to kind of get that going. I'm just going to follow these. Okay. There we go. And if you go outside the lines a little bit, you know, you can, this is just fun. It's supposed to be fun. Make that a little bigger and then go on my side again and add some more texture. Okay. See? Look at that. Very easy. Very cool. No big deal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on her hair. And I don't know if it's a little mermaid thing why I want to do red, <laughs> but it's something in my head that's like, you know what, let's do red. Reds and greens. I don't know. What about yellow and green? Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to probably go with red. I think I'm just going to use calico red and go with it. And I'm just going to use my little brush and do the same thing that I was doing. I'm not going to go in and erase the chalk off. I'm just going in with a small brush, as you can see, and I'm going in and going to line it. And I can leave that chalk on there. It isn't going to bother nothing. It's only my art journal page. You see how like just very loosely, I'm not going to paint it in. Just adding some other more texture so it looks like her hair. You do whatever you want. You want to paint this in all solid? Guess what? It's your page. Go for it. If you don't want to do an art journal page, you just want to do this on a page, go for it. But that's all I'm going to do. You see how it does? Very cool. Now you can do little seahorses. You could do little star, you know, uh, what are they called? Yeah. Stars. No. Yeah. And, uh, you could do whatever you want, you know, all over the page, sparkle, not sparkle. It doesn't matter. I'm going to rinse that off and then I'm going to paint her body. Rinse my brush, but this is just a quick, you know, just a very quick, uh, page. I'm just going to use my, um, parchment from folk art to do her body using the same brush going in Yeah, I'm not going to touch. I don't want to touch the hair cause I don't want it to be red. Okay. Okay. Then once that dries, I'll do a little bit more in here. And then what I'm going to do while this dries is I'm going to wet my brush again. I'm going to draw, you know what? Maybe I will do the arms. Maybe let's just go for the arms. Why not? Is there a reason why not? 
I'll just leave a little gap. We'll just go like that. Between, you know, like, so you can kind of see where the arm kind of starts and stops. Doesn't really matter. It is what we want it to be. You know what I mean? Like, we're not putting this in for mermaids to discuss whether we did. Now I'm going to dry that so I can do another coat. Whether we did a good enough job or not, it's about us having fun. I'm not going to worry if this green is all the way dry because I'm going to go in with some metallic and kind of shade it, I guess, is the word I want to say. But that just gives it a quick, and you don't have to do it, it's just because sometimes when I do on videos, I like to uh, just kind of, not speed it up, but. You know, I can't really paint over something that I just painted in this way. And I'll just add another arm. You see, you see what I'm saying. Okay. Just very, very easy. You kind of give, like I said, right there, you see that blue. It's kind of like the water's coming through in a sense, if that makes sense. I don't know. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the metallic, the metallic. This is going to be so simple. What you do, what you choose to do. This is uh, aquamarine and the metallic. You know, do anything around here. Like I said, uh, seahorse, this, that, the other, seaweed. It doesn't matter. A little fish. It doesn't matter. You can do all that, you know, makes it pretty. So I'm just going to take some of the metallic and I'm going to kind of just go out the outside here. Look at that pretty color. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there or not. And I'm still using my small brush. And I can go back in and blend it and put more if I want, but I'm just going to follow the outline right now. Just kind of blend it before it dries a little bit, just kind of back and forth. And you see how it just kind of adds a little bit. Now, you know, I could do this and then all of a sudden say, you know what? I want that whole thing to be green, metallic. And I very well could. Who knows? You could do that. That's your choice. Because it's yours. Never know until I do, you know, something that I think about. And then I'm like, you know what? I think I want it all that way. Who knows? And I, let me tell you, I'm going to flare up. I just took my needle. And I'm painting a mermaid. So if you're in any of those situations like me, which I know some of you are, you can still do it. And it will still be gorgeous because you did it. Just remember that. Okay. All right. So you can see I kind of outlined it all over, but I'm digging. But I also want some sparkle, I think. I don't know. I don't know, but I think I'm going to use a bigger brush. I think I might do that. Where's a bigger brush, Kevin? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to kind of, I think I'm just going to go for it. What kind of brush is this? Dagger. I don't know. Probably a certain way you wear it. Use it, wear it. I'm going for it. I am. And if some of it shows through from the bottom, I'm okay with that. But I like this metallic color so much better. And you could put in um, little uh, marks like his fins and all that. Oh my goodness, the stuff you can do. It's about what you want. What you want, you want, you want, you want, you want, you want. I don't know. Don't ask. Too much Beastie Boys in my head. Oh yeah, but you could doodle, you could uh, do anything. Stamp would be nice. Oh, words, you could do words. Now you see, I gave her, she's a little bottom heavy there. Is that right? She's a reflection of me. Maybe you have a small bum. Make it, make it a little smaller. I'm going to rock it. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I love just how she came out. Just very simple. 
Very simple and not, not a lot of big deal. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to take some green glitter. And I think this is Martha Stewart glitter. Yep. And it has a little shaker on it. Remember, if you use anything that has like a lid and a shaker, don't throw it away when it's empty. It's all the stuff we can do. All right, I'm just going to go like this. Like pretend like it's some salt. Why not? And if you're a fanatic and you want to take your brush and brush it over so it looks all even, by all means do so. This will just stick to the paint. You can put a clear coat over it when you're done if you want. That is all, you know, up to you. And I'm I'm loving her and I'm done with her. <laughs> I rhyme. Really, I could go on and I could add stamps and sticker. I mean, think outside the box. Stickers. You go to the dollar store, you get so many stickers and or draw a seahorse or draw whatever. She's it's a very she's a basic mermaid. Basic. And you know what? I know people don't like to be basic, but I'm a basic bitch. Sorry. That's what I is. And I love it. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and me, you know, talking the whole time. Um, if you guys decide to do this, please tag me uh, either on a video or, um, you know, just post in the picture. I love seeing what you guys do. Like I said, this is very basic, but look, look how cute. And it has shine and, you know, the camera never does it justice. Now I can go like this, but see, that's all on there now. So I'm happy with that glitter. But you can see it's shiny. And I love it. I love it. I love it. But like I said, you can definitely do like a little tattoo on her back. You could really, put, you know, pimp out this whole background as the sea with so many delicious creatures. Starfish and, you know, you could do yellow. Oh, gosh, the stuff. Do a shark. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to tag me uh, if you guys do this. I love watching and seeing what you guys do. Um, again, I did this for a bunch of you who um, do not like doing faces, but, you know, still want to create some sort of body uh, or, you know, person, so to say. This is a great way to do it. Um, I will put my uh, link down below for the other painting I did where we did the back of the head, uh, you know, for you guys to check out in case it's something that you want to do. Um, this is a good way to get you into starting doing people and figures and not having to worry if your eyes are okay <laughs> or the eyes on there are okay. I have good odd girls coming up soon. Um, for all of you, you guys have been begging me and asking me, uh, jelly plate you guys are asking me for. I'll be doing that. Um, oh gosh, what else? Oh gosh, I, there's, there's so many requests, so they'll be coming up and I hope you enjoyed this. Share me around like I'm your loose friend. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Give me a thumbs up. And I love you guys. I can never say it enough. And remember to, to put down below, you know, what I asked you, the questions. I can't remember what they were, but I know there was two things I wanted to know. Uh, and leave me your answers down below. So maybe I can, uh, you know, help you guys out. Love you guys. See you later.